So I don't always go out to go shopping just to rip off clearance sales and get stuff really cheap. Sometimes I find new blasters, such as a whole bunch of Dart Zone stuff at Target, including the Dart Zone Tri-Fire. They even had three in the same package for $9.99. I'm going to take them out, show you how they perform. So looking at the blaster, apparently it primes from the bottom, which is really awkward. There's not a whole lot of space to put your finger in here. As you can see, it's almost like a horseshoe. Yeah, and this even flips kind of awkwardly. Now, we understand that Boomco has tried a triple where you either shot the dart from the top barrel or all three fired, depending on how you primed it. There was like a, a alternator, which is neat, but you had to remember which dart to put in where, and unless maybe you wanted to jack up the spring to shoot all three, it wasn't terribly effective. And here, they're trying the rotating mechanism. Now, the more complex you try to make the plumbing, as compared to maybe a triad, where the triad is basically just gonna stand still, there's not a whole lot to screw up. Here, you're not seeing it too much because it's going so fast but the barrels are supposed to rotate every time you pull the trigger. Let's put three darts in here and see how it performs. All right, so I don't want to jam these in too far, but you keep the darts stick out just a little bit. So let's see what happens when you prime it. All right, for a control group test, I'm going to shoot some of their super darts out of the front of a triad, and let's see how it does. 73. 67, 66, unmodified triad. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot the super darts out of the dart zone tri-fire. Wow, have, I already have a hard time priming it. Okay, and now I'm going to shoot three super darts out of the front of a tri-fire. Like I said, it's kind of an awkward prime, but here we go. 69, 69. no fire, no fire. Okay, it's not going all the way back in. All right, so you see I had to rotate the barrel at the bottom? It's not rotating very well. Honestly, this feels fairly cheap. I'm gonna try it again. 69 duplicate, 69 duplicate. So very consistent performance once it shoots. However, there seems to be some problem. You have to make sure this is all the way primed down to get this to move. And it feels like this is supposed to rotate and it, the mechanism that rotates it isn't always working properly. All right, let me try one of the other blasters. All right, so once again, the super darts, but this time I'm gonna try it in the blue of the three colors. Now I see I'm making sure to prime it all the way this time, see if I learn from my mistakes. Yes, it's very exciting watching me prime or put all these darts in. Now I notice as I put these in, I'm kind of messing with the barrels. Let's see if it's still shooting. 74, 72, 71. All right, so maybe the green one's got some funkiness with it, or maybe I dropped it one, who knows? So this one's shooting a, eh, about five to six feet faster. All right, now for the yellow one. Okay, yellow blaster, except this time we're gonna use Koo starts. Okay, here we go, yellow blaster with Koo starts. They are pink, I know some people think some colors shoot better than others, so these are the pink ones. 67. 73, 70. All right, so that was with Koosh. So for comparison, I'm gonna put a Koosh start into the, or a couple of Koosh starts into the blue blaster, which is shooting the best of the three. And let's see what I can get out of it. Now my green one could be a, a lemon, because it was kind of on a hard time with its mechanism, or my finger, this trigger is really strange. I almost feel like I should be blowing soap bubbles through it. It's got a circle, and yeah, I think my finger was in it when I was priming before. I did the same thing with the grip, the front grip blaster on my previous review. All right, so that's primed. 
73, 76, 74. So a slight improvement from the blue blaster. All right. Now it seems to be the bottom barrel that fires and you see when it rotates, it rotates to the bottom and the bottom shoots. I'm going to put a coup start, which is really jamming in here. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> Didn't even really fire. All right, let me try that again. I think I got a lemon with the green one. Thank Thankfully, I got three blasters in here. But the green one really doesn't like me. And it really doesn't like loading Kush on the fly. I feel like I'm destroying the darts. 73. 100. Okay, I don't know if that was correct, but that's what it said. 72. I just got 100. I, I might have to get a new battery in this chronometer. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to put Kush starts in the triad. One in the bottom here, and we're going to see how it shoots it in comparison. 70. Okay, should you get a triad for $7? Sometimes you get it for cheaper, 6 or 7 Or should you get three of these for $10? They're not bad. They feel a little cheaper. It feels like I could drop the triad a little better than I could drop this, and this would still work. Because there's an extra mechanism that spins, there's an extra chance for it to fail. And of the three, the blue one shot the best, yellow okay, or yellow for what I saw, and the green one had some misfires, or it could have been, I'm kind of a noob and have a hard time figuring how to prime it. Now you can see there where it's kind of fighting back. So it kind of doesn't really know when to fully prime, and it's got kind of a strange trigger. But kind of effective, not bad. You get three of them for $10. So for half the cost of a triad, I say yes, go ahead and get three. I always have a rule, I'll buy one just to try it out, and they're kind of effective. But if you're asking me what would I go back to, I'd probably go back to the triad. It doesn't. It feels a little bit more stable when I'm priming it, and I can trust it more, and I feel like I could throw this in my pocket, whereas there's an extra mechanism here where it rotates. I might damage if I put it there. So uh, you're getting what you pay for for less, and the darts it come with, the nine super darts, are kind of like different kind of elites, so I can kind of live with that. So what's the review say? They're okay. I like it. Get a triad, but if you want a couple to share with friends and you don't mind maybe a little extra uh, possible wonkiness, okay.